<laughs> that look when she looks over from Gamera to give you a disappointed glance. Mm. You're not Gamera. This is Gamera. Oh, do I have to look at not Gamera? I love you, Gamera. from Austin, Texas, where we're really neat and full of turtle meat. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. Uh, if I'm slow today, please understand my brain has frozen. Yeah. I have a case of frozen brain. That, and we had that delicious tortoise dinner. That's why we're full of turtle that meat. That too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's even more endangered uh, when it's delicious. Did wait we, a, wait did a we get the, Did we get the turtle that <laughs> doesn't that. have salmonella or the kind that does? Uh-oh. We got a lot of things to worry about we tonight. Have a lot to discuss. But what we don't have to worry about is our friend Gamera, the space turtle who cares. You know this guy, friend yeah. to Godzilla. I, I don't know. He's, Wait, he's are they involved with Godzilla? Probably something like that. They're in the same genre. Oh, JP Ronnie, thank you so much for the raid. Nice, welcome aboard. Congratulations on the the marathon. How'd yeah. that go? I caught a couple hours of that. JP Ronnie was playing all the classic bootlegs. Saw some Jurassic Boy. It was a good time. It was good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Well, we're doing it. Uh, instead of playing a whole bunch of shitty games at once, we are going to dedicate ourselves to playing one good game as a change of pace. We do this sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, the PS1, pretty good console when it comes to stream one-shots, that being uh, games that you can complete over the course of a single stream. Up for vote this week were four of those. That's how that shook out. Oh, man. You could have had Tale of the Sun, folks. Siberia was pretty close. It was a dead heat at one point. Tale of the Sun, I'm kind of glad that <laughs> that didn't win, because that would have required some very clever uh, hackery on my part to finish that in a single stream. Or it would have been incredibly boring, one of those two things. Luckily, y'all picked Gamera 2000, the most entertaining and best choice. So, good work. Thank you. Let's do that. Shall we start right now? Let's play some Gamera 2000. All right, we're going for it. I want to go. play a video game for once. Once in my farking life, I want to play a freaking video game. A fraggable game. Yeah, what would a Gamera game entail? You gotta wonder, right? And could the game even live up to it? Based on what you've seen on MST3K or maybe in its original form even? I only know the MST3K form. Yeah, same. I'm a fake Gamera gamer. Yeah, unfortunately the gameplay is an FMV, just the cutscenes. But... I think you're gonna enjoy it regardless. Mm -hmm. Just call it a hunch. Doctor. Oh, Digital Frontier. Doctor Digital. <laughs> I got good news, the folks. The level of magnetism is getting unusually high. It's FMV, and it's in English. Oh, good! Oh, what's that? Looks like a giant space truck from the right angle. They're gonna steal our convoy. No! Camera 2000. <laughs> I'm in. I'm all in. I'm a thousand percent in. We're have, never streaming have you been, another game. Have you been convinced? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this. I love <gasps> this. Us versus them versus Gamera. <laughs> Scanning the biomax. 
a good looking biomech. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the biomechs look kind of tasty to me. Dr. Mukunoki, what can you tell me about these fighters? They look like seafood. According to the data, the fighters seem to consist of cells that contain genes very similar to Gauss DNA. So, according to CDC, Gamma is at 30,000 feet and past noon in 10 minutes. We made contact with COC. Gamma is heading south at 30,000 feet and will reach the metropolitan area in 10 minutes. Gamma? The situation tells us that Gamma is chasing after the fighters that attacked the headquarters last night. They have Gauss DNA. Lieutenant Morton, you and Dr. Mukunoki take the Harrier. Follow Gamma and recapture Gauss DNA. Dismissed. Yes, yes sir. sir. This is great. This it's is a, fantastic. It's a grave situation that uh, deserves the best quality of acting of all time. Oh, good Oh, God. man. Thank you, Trough of Luxury, for the 23 months. Yes, thank you. And for the research behind this stream. It's going to be pretty helpful. Also, thank you to Krungling for 40 months if, I, if we missed that. Did we? I don't think. I think we got that last time, okay. but thank you again. Well, <laughs> double thank you. So, so, I've made a few discoveries about this game. Uh, discoveries that don't necessarily mean we're going to see the best ending on our own. We will see the endings. Uh, not really sure how to get to the final stage and the best ending during actual gameplay, because that is undocumented. Uh, correction, it's documented in the Worlds of Long Play's uh, Long Play video. There, the documentation is wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't follow that documentation. It is completely wrong. I don't know how to get to the last stage. I don't know how to get the best ending. We're just going to hope and pray to Gamera as we play on easy mode. I did a full playthrough on normal and did not get the good ending. Am I pissed? No. All time spent with Gamera is good time. Ah, ass. Hang on. Hold on. <laughs> I hold forgot. on. Look ass to Danny. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Um. Oh, how do you reset this? Just go ahead and close the window and open it back up again. I needed to rebind the controls. That's my uh, rebinding controls voice when I say ass. If you don't mind, hold tilde for a little bit. Thank you. We got to do this right. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to where we were. Controller. We do it like this. Gamma attack on square. That's important. Okay. We do an easy mode. There's also a Japanese voice track if you want, for some reason, to listen to that instead of English. But English is the original dubbed language, so... Wow, they're going so fast! That's real power walking. Stand by. Yes, Captain. You all clear to proceed. Boop, boop. Is that what we call Gamera, Lieutenant? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so it was recorded in in uh, English and then redubbed with different English voice actors, which makes it look especially strange uh, sometimes. We'll get more into that as we uh, approach the end of the stream. Let's get some background info. You can call me Jack, Dr. Mukunoki. Call me Lisa. Nice to meet you, Jack. The pleasure's all mine. Jack and Lisa, there are co-pilots here on the ship. Long time no see, Jack. Since your Navy days. Good to see you, Harry. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Mukunoki. I'm Harry. Harry Lindback. Now we met the crew. Harry, Jack, and other guy. Oh, other lady. <laughs> All I, I've, I've just got Gamera on the brain. I can't stop thinking about Gamera. Do you think we'll meet is him? Is that Canada? Is it? That map? Is that Canada? I can't tell. Is Gamera from Canada? Is Gamera from... I don't know where Gamera is from. A, a turtle world, I assume. So, so far, you'd assume this is some kind of adventure game with the, the point-and-click interface, with the talking to people, 
with the background and story and narrative and all that. Nope, it's Star Fox meets uh, Panzer Dragoon. And are you Gamera? Oh. No, Gamera is our helpful friend. Oh, that's nice of Gamera. Mm -hmm. Lock on. Gamera will fire his Gamera lasers for us. We can turn it down on our end. Thank you. Okay, if I were to turn down the desktop audio, would Do it? it? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I didn't want to make Gamera crash. I know okay. That... Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Oh, that's better. Yeah, we're the humans and not the Gamera. Isn't that a, isn't that a fucking shame? He's our powerful friend, though. You want to see what he can do for us? Yes. If you push the Gamera button and hold it down, he'll start spinning. He'll start He's spinning. It. He's about to do it. Watch him. He's about to do it. He's going crazy. He's going to do it. You watch What's this guy. What's he going to do? Oh, shit. Oh, He's going to do it. He's doing it. Yeah, you push that button and he just goes ape shit on any targetable enemy in range. Oh, thank you, Invaderoid, for the 12 month reset. That's a whole year. Yeah, one year. Thank you. One whole year. Thank you. Yeah, we all need a Gamera button. I love the Gamera button. You can also look to the side, a la Panzer Dragoon, as you might expect. Hey, this music. Yeah, the music is by uh, Taito's Team Zuntata, I believe. What? So it's really, really good. What? No. Uh, fucking really? That's what I've heard. It's so good, though. Mm-hmm. Just jamming out. I am, too. Daddy Gamera, am I right? <laughs> you can call him Daddy if you want. Oops, I was supposed to shoot <laughs> <Sorry>. that. <laughs> You're just like, oh yeah, totally. Lock on target, kabloom. Soundtrack reminds me the most of Raystorm, which I think was very uh, recent. Either came right before or right after this for some time. And as a game, uh, as you can see, it kicks ass. This, this is, this looks like a fun game. Is the thing I was, I was really expecting bullshit. It's really super good. You would never expect. And it's got great cutscenes. I mean, goddamn. Let's charge up our camera. Gotta take evasive maneuvers while we charge him up. Here we go. Go get him, buddy. Kick his Camera's ass. Camera's just like rolling into him. Mm -hmm. While he's doing this, you don't have lock-on lasers, but come on, it's a giant spinning turtle. <laughs> You're not dead? Come on, buddy. So there aren't any Gamera games where you actually play as Gamera? That's, that's kind of bullshit. I don't think... Well... I'm not quite well versed on the Gamera mythology or gameography. You're not dead. You have no life bar. You kill him too quickly? Yeah, he's got to, like, hang on for a little bit more. Sorry, I agreed to be in this game for exactly one minute. And not be just, just you gotta have that required minute. It's in the union. You gotta do I gotta do this again. You gotta get each of his weapons. Did that do it? Surely that's kill this guy. Come on. You got cameras like twice. This didn't happen during testing. <laughs> you were able to kill it? Yes. The game proceeded normally. Hmm. You think we've got the uh, classic Retro Pals curse going on? That doesn't make sense, though. <laughs> Everything's running just fine. It's just the, the, the die flag was not set. <laughs> Anyone know how to reverse the live flag and turn it into a die flag for a boss? It can't even shoot me anymore. What happened? <laughs> Holy shit. 
All right, next time we don't kill the boss, we give him time to do all of his attacks and look cool, I guess. So he doesn't hold up the entire fucking stream. Alex, reset the game. I'm upset. I am so upset. I didn't play through the game twice for that to fucking happen. Video game. <laughs> if you've not catched our stream uh, before, this sometimes happens. By sometimes, I mean... Caught. A lot. We are a little bit cursed. I don't like being cursed. This is being cursed in a boring way. Danny. Heated camera moment. I'm heated, all right. Gonna fry up some turtles tonight. No! We're having breakfast tacos for dinner, not turtles. Yeah, breakfast turtles. <clears throat> so just in case these, looking at these scenes, are part of getting the good ending, I'm gonna go Long ahead time. and uh, do these again. Okay. Oh, we didn't get this last time. That's our ship. System kitschy. <laughs> it sure well, is. This game is kitschy. Beep, beep, beep. How you doing, Canada? All right, we're targeting Ottawa or whatever. And now the game works with no problems. No problems. No problems at all. We just got to let the first boss do his thing. Listen, we all we all want Gamera to be in Canada at this moment, but right now they're they're busy helping us at Tokyo Bay. Maybe that's where his girlfriend is. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan Mallory, for the 13 month resub. Gamera is really neat. He is a little turtle meat. We've been beating Gamera. Gamera is friend to all children. Timmy Timmy. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. I'm sure you've seen plenty of Gamera in your lifetime. Who doesn't love Gamera? Um, probably Gamera's enemies. They typically don't like Gamera. What's this voice saying? Gene? Oh, that's what it's saying. It kinda sounds like Poop Gene. Just me when I eat dairy. Okay, Alex. Why? Oh, I'm not allowed to make IBS jokes! I thought it said pussy, alright? Oh, I was okay. gonna I was gonna make the classy joke, but no. No, you... I had to say poop machine, damn. Just don't, just don't see eye to eye here, me. She just cool plane. Plane's gone. Yeah, maybe this is the plane that caused the game to soft lock. Uh Jordan, we're 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 good. I uh I, I I got a bunch of stuff from archive.org to hold me off during the storm. Oh yeah, we got a storm coming up. This is gonna be our last stream before the big snowstorm of 2022. Yeah, Jordan, you stay you stay good too. Yeah, nothing, you stay warm. No, nothing happened to anybody in Texas. I couldn't I couldn't handle it. I really couldn't. Call Gamera over. He'll keep you warm. Oh man, it's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Flaming turtles, please come to Texas. Man, as cool as the Gamera attack is, maybe it's what fucked up that boss, and maybe I shouldn't use it against bosses, but it's so cool! It is so cool! Oh, I can... I can actually shoot it this time. Nice. Alright, we got boss music going. There he is. Guy who seeks to stop the retro pal stream. <laughs> Show him what for. It makes the fight faster, but I guess you don't really need it. The lasers are still pretty powerful. I gotta say, having finished this game on easy and normal, I do much prefer easy. The difference between easy and normal is just you take more damage per hit and the boss enemies have more health. It's not especially interesting. I think the game's a little bit better paced with the, uh, the, the easy balance. 
That's just my opinion, though, as a casual Gamera fan. Cat Gamera fan. <laughs> there he goes. Oh my god. That's what was supposed to happen. I can't believe... <laughs> ah, alright, good, good. Would you like me to press that five? Please. Just in case. Mm -hmm. You know, not that anything would go wrong. It's always fine. We, we, we never have problems. I'm also glad that happened before our first save state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, game. Camera goes Hawaii. <laughs> He's taking a vacation with the beach babes. What is this voice I'm doing? <laughs> it's, it's your... It's your little 80s sitcom Hawaii episode boy. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking the camera goes Hawaii. Here's some of that famous Hawaiian drum and bass. You know, I bet Hawaii had Hawaii had a good drum and bass scene. I bet they still do. Yeah, maybe. If you do drum and bass and you live in Hawaii, let me know. I, I would love to hear it. Yeah, we'll promote you. <laughs> Shit, now we have to do it. If now someone... we do, but I actually, I really like drum and bass, so it's okay. Take down that airplane. No! Oh, we missed it's it. It's flying. Keep this airspace free, all right? <laughs> we have more important things to do. Oh, some dipshit's got to go to Hawaii. Real fucking important. Yeah, camera's gonna set fire to that crypto island. <laughs> Good. So many references to corn chop already. <laughs> Now that the game's going, I'm I'm in good spirits again. Turn the turn the Danny meter to no longer tilted. <laughs> Normal Danny. Yeah, change the word tilted to uh, grooving. Did you just bonk him? I sure did. No one can stop me and my buddy. Right, buddy? I do think that Gamera and Godzilla both go to Hawaii, yes. <laughs> I think that even did the damage. It did. Okay, now it's doing it. It's the best attack possible. You just spin around a million miles an hour and then you ram into stuff. I was going to say, I'm, I'm I'm a little nervous about this. It's a gamma Are you sure we should be tempting fate before a snowstorm? It looks so cool. It does look cool. Now me, I've never played through this whole thing. We did feature it many years ago on my uh, PS1 import showcase stream. But I was so intrigued. I thought people might want to see it again. That's why we put it up for vote. God, you're really just fucking killing this guy. Yeah. Easy mode makes you feel very powerful. You think they got these uh, techno rave tracks going on in, inside the ship while they're shooting? I think this is. I think Gamera has speakers and they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those Bluetooth speakers. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gamera's actually a DJ. Gamera's like, I don't know, Marshmallow or whatever. Is he still a thing? I mean... Maybe if you're on Roblox. Yes, if you play Fortnite. Or, like, or yeah, Fortnite. He's already doing like the theme parks uh, music circuits. So, I don't know. He's gonna be at, like, Universal's Mardi Gras celebration. Oh, this is a really cool boss fight. It's a little too hard on normal. All games should be made for babies, in my opinion. See? This has been my opinion for a long time, but nobody listens to me. 
How about games can be for babies if you want it? Like you don't want the baby mode? You don't gotta play the baby mode. Leave it to us babies, we love it. Mm -hmm. Gaga goo goo fucks. <laughs> I don't know why, it was so aggressive. Gaga goo goo motherfucker. That's you. Yeah, that's, that's me as a gamer baby. <laughs> Mountain Dew in my bottle, it's awful. Oh my god. I also agree, uh, Vlad mentions alternately every baby game needs a hardcore mode. Yeah. I 100% agree with this. Sure. I absolutely want to see Sesame Street games. That... With permadeath. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry. The Sesame Street strategy arc. Your choices matter. Grover falls in battle. You, you won't be there next time. Yeah. Nice. Me and my friend. Uh, thank you, Gamera. I've never felt closer to Gamera. <laughs> Look at him. made it to the U.S. Hey. That was our flight path. Japan, Hawaii, San Francisco. Jack here. Gamera is now circling over San Francisco Bay. We are going to set down in Sausalito. <laughs> Hell yeah, <Nice>. Sausalito! <laughs> Alex, if you would, uh, drop me a save state. Oh yeah, one sec. We're here in Sausalito. How you doing, Gamera? Oh, he's having a great time just swooping around up there. Enjoying the, the fresh California air. And it looks like we have a new vehicle. We got one of them uh, speed power gun bikes. Also by Kitchy. That look when she looks over from Gamera to give you a disappointed glance. Mm. You're not Gamera. This is Gamera. Oh, do I have to look at not Gamera? I love you, Gamera. Hey, I guess Gamera's in something over there. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. New report, Jack. Databases recovered in the rubble in Tokyo and Hawaii have been discovered to have used extraordinarily outdated language. What? There's something about an outdated language being used. We'll destroy that language. All right. How dare to... you be outdated? Are we finally going to destroy Latin? It's about time. <laughs> Endor. Uh huh. I mean, I don't see the. I don't see the. I, I really don't see the resemblance. Everybody can have a speeder bike in the middle of a forest. It doesn't necessarily have to be indoor. I mean, do you see any Ewoks? Yeah, I don't remember the swamp forests of uh, San Francisco, but I haven't been to Northern California since the 90s. God, this has got real deep base. This is great. It's just your average California forest going through on speeder bikes. There's no Luke Skywalker, there's no ATST walkers or anything. It's just its own thing. Let's let it be let it be its own thing. Let people enjoy things. Did they film in the Redwood Forest for indoor scenes? Okay, okay. So so okay, so this is okay. You know what? I take it back. This is this is a very it's fine. It's fine that they're going through this forest. Yeah, in San see? I, I told you. I forgot about the sea air bus. I lived in California! How did I forget all this geography? How could you, Alex? As soon as I moved to Texas, I just literally forgot all about anything in California. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we enrolled you in Texas history and never looked back. Yeah, it's just like... They surgically removed the California section and replaced it with a big slab of brisket. <laughs> Now my brain is a delicious smoky flavor. 
Oh, never mind. There's the walkers. <laughs> well, all right, look. <laughs> it's called borrowing, Alex. It's, you it's, saying you never borrowed anything? It's an homage. Meet up with Chewy. This fucking music. Yeah, doesn't it great? This is Gamera. You didn't have to go so hard. Or maybe they did. Maybe they felt uh, a sense of loyalty to Gamera for all the entertainment he's given us over the years. You gotta do him right. Stage clear. What did that lyric say? Did it say Gamera? Probably. Camera. Hey, Mike. Oh, we're not even halfway through the game. Oh, we only yeah. missed a few. Time to go to Underworld. What lies underneath the streets of uh, San Francisco? Well, the answer may surprise you. Cool. Oh, they're nightmare dogs. Yeah. Are those like feral ibos? Mm hmm. Those are all the ibos that, that people flush down the toilet. <laughs> I just, all of this is real-time rendered, and it looks amazing on PlayStation. Why does this game look so sick? It's, I don't know. It's, it's camera. This is a licensed Bondi game. Just someone decided to kick it up to a billion just because Gamera. Oh, you can't let these guys fire at you. They hurt. I was ready to give you all a playthrough on normal to really show you my gamer skills, but if we're gonna get the same ending, fuck it. Yeah. I think this is the boss. You know, this does have the feel of a game they just was supposed to be something else, but they just attach Gamera to it. Could be, yeah. Uh, is this guy a, one of the Gamera villains? Does Gamera have villains? I do not know anything of the Gamera mythos. I really wish I did. Yeah, let's get right up in there. Shoot him right in the bread basket. Get him right in the butt. <laughs> right in the butt. Jack, watch out! His weakness is his butt. His butt? All right then. Sorry, I love your English stuff. <laughs> I think I think I have a good chance of making it as uh, one of those idiot American actors. Yes, I love them. Those are my favorite. Wakari Mashita. Yes, yes. Dozo Yoroshiku. Look at those big paws. Aww. Sorry, Armadillo friend. You fucking died. I had to do it because of, uh, I don't know. We're just gonna. Um, it's fine. Did I do it again? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I was worried. <laughs> okay. Don't kill the bosses too fast in camera. Look at this segment. I think this looks amazing. Why is this so cool and moody? Yeah, it's got a real sense of atmosphere. I mean, progression-wise, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but if they're putting levels in this game, they at least look really cool. The tension builds. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Uh, let's shoot the shit out of this thing for no reason. Oh, that was in it. It was one of those. Where? Where? Huh? Who? What? There he is. Easy mode, you can kind of take it easy. In uh, normal and hard mode, you really have to focus on shooting down the bullets. 
Some of the bullets you can lock on to, but the lock-on laser is a little bit too slow to get them before they hit you. So you kind of have to do make effective use of your machine gun. I wonder what Gamera is doing right now. I, I was you wondering, think? where's your friend? He just saw the forest and was like, nah, I, I don't. Does he not like Sausalito? Uh, I'm, I'm not wanted here in Sausalito. He's like, oh yeah, I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm banned from all the Ross stores. They do I, not like me in Marin County. I am sorry. I'm, they just. I am no longer allowed to dress for less. <laughs> You know, this is the, the third Ross dress for less dress for less reference I've heard today. Really? Is 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 is, is Ross a, is Ross a new thing? Uh, I'm not being paid off by Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I was if I was a Ross a sleeper agent? You know we what? We wouldn't we wouldn't call ourselves that. Nope. I I would have more respect for you if you were a Ross sleeper agent than if you were say like promoting NFTs or whatever. if I was a gamer. <laughs> Look at that cool lighting. God damn. Hit me. Too late. I got it. Ooh, not during a loading screen. Okay. We're, we're gonna need yeah. to set another one. Lisa! Wait for me a sec. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Just so chill. She had to send a really important text. <laughs> Oh, he's into it. I'm into it too. Ah, that fuck! Cool. Well, well, well. What do we have up here? Here's there's some kind of fierce battle going on. Luckily we have our spaceship. Whoop! Yep, put that put that back in the spaceship in case we need it. I'm done sending the data. Lisa, you stay here and wait for a call from headquarters. Roger. Did she say did she say she was dancing in the data? That's what I heard too. That's okay. definitely what I heard. Jack, be careful. There's multiple <laughs> FMVs you can get? I didn't know that. Oh, what have we missed? Hey, Danny, be careful. I Sorry, I just stared at <laughs> Lisa, I received the data. I'll send it back as soon as I figured out what's in there, okay? So we just gonna send data back and forth? Mm -hmm. Just oh, dancing the data. Wait a minute. Does the glowy mean that there's more information yeah. if you click again? Okay. Jack, you and Dr. Mukunoki, bring back Gauss DNA. <laughs> Good. That's an interesting thing to discover. I wonder if to get the best ending you have to get all these optional uh, scenes. This one just keeps it keeps flashing. I don't like that. Mm -mm. We're about halfway through the game. Oh hell yeah. I have no idea if this will fill up two hours. Especially when the camera's being sent to Alcatraz. Alright, time to blow up Alcatraz. We're gonna do it. The camera believes in prison abolition the hard way. Thank you, camera. Oh, actually it was the other creature that just blew up Alcatraz. Okay, well, camera... Maybe we're all on the same side here. You don't camera, maybe we can do a team-up. Could be. 
boss fight scenes where unfortunately you can't use your camera button to make a camera hook go apeshit. That's because he's fighting alongside you. Thank you so much, Proxy Glitch Cat. 36 months. Lisa, that is three whole years. Thank you. Nice. Thank 36, you so much. 36 months of camera based prison abolition. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, totally. I saw some of that engaged stream uh, from earlier. Proxy was playing on original hardware, if you can what believe the? it. Multiple original hardwares, because of course Proxy has multiple engages. I think we got this guy. Yeah, he doesn't look like he likes our lasers too much. Listen, I know Alcatraz is a museum now and a tourist attraction and not a prison. It but still must be destroyed. Yeah, because like, you know, what if what if what if Gamera becomes president and decides to reopen it? You don't know. Oh Jesus, his heads are gone. That guy's really dead. He is turbo dead. And this his soul left to heaven, so good job. Thank you. We've completely silenced Neo Gauss. Lisa, what about the disc? Imagine looking out in the bay and seeing this. That's the that's the face you would have, yeah. It's like, hey, I already have to pay, like, through my butt for rent. And now there's a fucking turtle outside? Oh, he's a good turtle. I thought he was going to flip him the bird. Are we being abducted? I think so. You don't like it. Yeah, now it's XCOM. This is suddenly a 4X game. Not Lisa. Let's go through the wormhole. I'm going to rescue Dr. Mukuno. Over. Badass American soldier here. <laughs> that giant turtle sure kicks ass. Like me. But he does, though. Like, I mean, camera is pretty good. Yeah, I love this game. One of my favorites. It actually holds up over the course of the full game, too. It doesn't turn to shit right at the end. Uh, well, it kind of does. These last couple of levels are pretty tough. Nothing insurmountable, though. Not when you're a giant turtle. What really gets me about the last couple levels, did that say this was stage seven or six? Uh, I want to say six, but I don't know. If it was seven, this might be the last level we see. I didn't mean for that to sound on this. <laughs> stage six, okay. All right, we got at least one more level then. The problem with these last couple levels is that there's multiple boss fights and you really need to save your energy for those. They take a while. How you doing? Doing alright? Need any turtle food? What do you eat anyway? I think turtles eat lettuce. God, we're gonna eat so much fucking lettuce. Well, luckily, do you know where they produce a lot of lettuce? Central California. Hey, that's why we. That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. Gamer gotta eat. God, this hurt atmosphere is amazing. Don't know if it'll soft block if we do that uh, turtle spin again. I'm almost afraid it will. I am too. <laughs> you know what? You know, I think I've seen a turtle eat watermelon before, so I think they can eat melon. Oh, get him, Gamera. Boom. The melons are really expensive in Japan, so we should probably shouldn't be eating that. Why not? Fair enough. 
Ich. <laughs> Thank you. This boss in particular could take you quite a while to be normal mode I was fighting this thing. Actually, what makes this fight pretty quick is if you use, ironically, the Gamera attack. <laughs> Which, I mean, you know what, fuck it, it's my show. If we have to repeat this level and the stream becomes unentertaining, so be it. sacrifice everything for my for my own wins <laughs> even the entertainment of uh, millions right now. there's millions of people watching right now right um yeah sure oh, yeah, this phase you gotta dodge the these things the arms Okay, so, so we won't be feeding Gamera constant numbers. Okay, good. It's just a treat for you. Yeah, it's a sometimes treat. Do turtles eat bugs? Do they? Alright. Tortoise died. Bugs to Gamera. Yeah, don't. Get ready to save me. Just do it right now. Yeah. I think there's one more segment to this level. Nice. Oh, they, they will. Some turtles will be pretty. Okay, some turtles will eat bugs? Okay, okay. Like don't listen to. to me for turtle advice. Please listen to a, a tortoise professional. Yeah. Retro pals are not, uh, we are not legally advised to give advice about turtles. We don't have shells of our own. We're not going to tell you how to live your life. Would Gamera eat a durian? Yes. I think, I think turtles can eat durian. Gamera would try anything once. Gamera's really adventurous. I like how I was trying to go away from that connotation and you're just driving yep, Bring right it on. right on back. Thanks, thanks. Fuck that turtle. God, finding multiple dragons in the sky above um, Neo Hong Kong? Neo Hong Kong, yes. No, I've never had durian. I haven't either. I hear it's very good if you can stand this now. I have, like sensitivities to smell so I'm so afraid of eating it. <laughs> yeah, you probably should be afraid. I shouldn't. I'm I'm gonna you know, but I, I support it. Get him Gam. Show him your gams. That did a nice bunch of damage. I didn't do this on the first try. Wouldn't that be something? If we're really lucky, the game won't lock up. There he is. Did Gamera make this music? He's Gamera poor. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Evasive. There he goes, exploding into purple. Orange right calling him Gabara. Thanks. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. We're approaching the end. What's gonna happen? Enemy fortress, target identified. I'm commencing the operation. Jack, it's you. Where the hell you been all day? Oh, hanging out underground with my speed power yeah, gun bike. Sir, look at this data. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Ooh, I hate data. Hey, Aiden. Harry, what's going on?
All right. This could be our end game. What is that thing? She's what? In it. They've taken her hostage. She's in a brain! She's in a beautiful alien womb. His airspeed is Mach 3.5. That's cool. pretty good. Classification unknown. I mean, we can guess a couple of things. Looks pretty similar to a turtle. Can we look at the moon one last moon time? Bullshit. I wanna look at the moon. Oh, it's pretty! Nice. Look how pretty it is. Jack, I've figured out the data I received from Lisa. An ancient ruler who'd been sealed in another space and time has been found missing again. Something from another space and time? Nothing we can't handle. Okay. Jack, not only Gaios DNA, but also Gamma Rat DNA. They're heading in this direction. Gauss and Gamera's DNA mixing? In this direction? I was hoping it wouldn't be in this direction. Gamera? Okay, friend of mine. Hmm, yes, that seems to be in order. <laughs> just, you're just playing Game of Lights out. Beep, beep, beep. Here we go, potentially the last level. Let's do it. Gamera. Gamera. Everybody put your faith in Gamera. Pray, if you will, for Gamera as he penetrates the Dragon Fortress. This stage is like a boss gauntlet, right? Yeah, it is. This is never-ending bosses. I hope you love bosses. I love them. Also, the soundtrack is in German to really amp things up. The important part in this fight, especially in the higher difficulties, is to check out and make sure you intercept the things that it shoots. This. Fuck those things. That branches off into all these things. No! Bullshit! Yeah. And if you let that get out of control, it's bad news. Ooh, eyeballs. Yeah, it's one of them eyeball things. Made its way from California to Hong Kong. Yeah. Hey, it's awesome. It is cool. But is it the coolest boss in this level? No. Alright, I like this. I like this cool dragon. This part is hard because it combines parts of multiple other bosses. There's those little tentacles we were fighting yeah. in the underground, and they're shooting at us with their own pattern. Meanwhile, he'll just start shooting these things. Yeah, this does look like an Evangelion, uh, Jordan. That could be it, yeah. Likely inspiration. The Ava was pretty popular for a time. Some say it still is. You make it sound like there are strangers left in the night. <laughs> we never knew what Evangelion wanted or where they went. All we knew is that Shinji wasn't right. Oh yeah, this takes way more damage on easy mode. This feels good to shoot. In normal mode, you'd be at this phase for like a good three or four minutes. Shit constantly flying at you. Barely able to get in shots on the boss. It's a really intense fight. There's something like four or five different attacks that each kind of operate on their own timers. So you gotta really keep in mind where things are. It's dead now. Is that the end? What do you think, Gamera? Gamera? 
Uh oh. Cool. Now, it's in its final form. The, camp the combination of Gauss and camera, apparently. This fight's a little bit easier, but by this point, in any of the other difficulties, you'd be down to like a sliver of health, and then you'll just annihilate you instantly. For this attack, just do this. Stay right here. Then he does. What does he do? Just the stupid thing with. Yeah, he makes you fly through the Superman 64. Games. Oh god, I hate that. <laughs> what do humans hate the most? Solve my maze, Superman. such a cool boss fight. I'm shocked it's apparently not the final one. Again, it's probably going to be the final one we see, because I'm not sure how to unlock the other endings. Sorry, this is really tense, I'm just... It's pretty intense. Especially for PS1, like, damn. Solve my maze, Gamera! <laughs> and we did it. Let's find out if that's GG or not. Something weird happens here. Like, are you supposed to do something while the boss is dying? Because you're still in control for a little bit, and then this happens. I'm trying to lock on to stuff, but nothing is really registering. And then Gamera goes apeshit. Let's see? Oh, fuck. I think we have done it. Thank you, Gamera. So that city's dead. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're getting the last stage in the true ending. Fine. Yeah, all right. Fuck it. Nothing makes sense. This is the first time I'm seeing this in my life. Are you kidding me? You somehow got to the true ending in yep. the final stage? Yeah, uh-huh. I found out how. Uh, anyone want to explain? <laughs> what the fuck? So to unlock this, the, the true method is so mysterious that there's people... If you look up Gamera 2000, like, strategy guide on Google, like, the first page results is from people begging people who have the strategy guide to put the results from the strategy guide online. The strategy guide is like $100 now, and only collectors have copies of it. So no one really knows how to get this true ending. Uh, apparently there's also a sub-mechanic involved here as well. Alex, actually, why don't you save my state? This is going off a, a YouTube comment. <laughs> Apparently to get the ultra best super happy ending, you have to do the Gamera spinning attack at a crucial moment in this fight. Uh, guess what, I don't know. It's, it's that crucial moment, I don't know what that is. All right, the only thing I did different in this playthrough from my previous save stated playthroughs is I looked at all the, um, the, the, po the point and click elements, yeah. I didn't see all of them, but I guess I saw enough to really send me to this last level. Fuck. All the other times I've beaten this, it ended after that last fight and showed another cutscene. So I'm like, hey, good job. Well, congrats. Let's see if I can survive it, though. Yeah, this looks like a pain in the ass, sorry. Hey, World of Long Place says you can't get to this part on easy. Well, you proved them wrong. World of wrong place? Wow! I'm sorry, please don't get mad at me. You went there. I'm sorry. Man, this thing's crazy. It doesn't even have a life meter. I don't even know how to kill this thing. Uh, I'm guessing you probably want to hit these things before they get to you. Oh, it seems pretty low health, why don't we? Oh, is this gonna pull an Independence Day? Yes. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? Fuck him up, Gamera!
Good work, friend of mine. Thank you, Gamera. New phase? I can't target anything anymore. It still seems pretty pissed off to me. I see. Oh, I no. see. Oh no. Gamera? Fucking do it! Yeah! Oh, shit, Gamera! Gamera, you kick ass. This rocks. We all love you, Gamera. I think that was the climactic moment that, uh, that one comment was referring to. We may be about to see the best in there. Feeling pretty good right now. Yes, this is our Independence Day. <laughs> this is my Independence Day. And that is the end of the video game. Holy shit, well. <sighs> Ew. Ugh. Lisa, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Huh? Gamera. I'm sorry, the, the CG model in this just looks cute. He looks adorable. <laughs> I want to hug him. Well, it ends well, right, Sonic? Whew. All clear. That is Gamera 2000, one of the best PlayStation 1 games that money can buy. It's short, it's fun, it's got a kick ass soundtrack, it's got FMV that's in English, of all things. What's not to like? And now the ending theme of Gamera 2000. Sorry, I'm just, I'm grinning ear to ear. That was wonderful. Yeah, me too. I enjoyed that. Jack Morton, played by Patrick Harlan. We'll get to, to him in just a minute here. There was a character named Dennis Miller? I'm losing my fucking mind! Are you okay? No! Dennis Miller! You, you okay with Dennis Miller? Dennis! <laughs> of all the things to name your character in a camera game, why you gotta go with Dennis Miller? Is it just to tweak my nose to poke me in the eye like 15 years later oh that's not 15 years later that's more like uh, let's not think about it it's many more years later this game was not made in 2000 just for reference it was 1996 it was just cool to call things 2000 back then mm -hmm. it was probably uh, banking on the popularity of blues brothers 2000 No, it, it that's just that's just that's just your that's just your fan love of of uh, Blues Brothers 2000 inspiring you here. It continues to inspire me. I think there should be a Retro Pals 2000. <laughs> that's just a shot for shot remake of Blues Brothers. With us? Yeah. No. The first third of the movie takes place in a strip club for some reason. <laughs> strip club that's gonna let us go in it oh yeah, yeah. i think we're banned for most of them they Those most strip clubs i don't think would allow streamers in i know i wouldn't if i was a strip club i think i'm still welcome at the landing strip actual name of a strip club here it's near the airport no shit <laughs> you know the owner of the Jordan, yellow rose you know let's let's make people. this happen you're a real mover and shaker in this town Harry artist. Harry artist? Mm hmm. Okay. 
the artist who worked on Harry. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think. You have to interact during the point-and-click sequences. You can't just skip past them. If you skip past them, the game ends early. But, uh, confirmed, you can see the whole damn game on easy mode. And you could play through it in what, it, in my opinion, is the most fun mode. So if you play this, play through it on easy. If you want a challenge, you can play through on normal. That's how that works. Game music, Marshu. Sound effects, baby. Baby? Who do you think is Gamera's pu publicist? Um, God. The same one John Popper had. <laughs> oh, there is a hard mode if you want to do that. I just like these really short and punchy games. Like, this is not even an hour of gameplay, but it's so, so polished and so good. A tea illusion. Equity Entertainment? Soundtrack, not just good, but creative. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't sound like <laughs> a lot of other soundtracks. Zuntada was kind of headed in that direction during that period of the of time, though, so that makes sense. Mission complete. Let's, uh, let's save end. Let's commemorate that. Gamera 2000. Now, you may be wondering, all that talk of the other endings, I was prepared to just show you the bad ending and then... Like, uh, just shift into a video showing off the different endings. Mm -hmm. But we saw an ending that I don't know what that is. So, Alex, why don't you just close that window of Gamera? Uh, get rid of Gamera? Get rid of Gamera. Get out of here, kid. And start up the video of all the different endings of Gamera 2000. You can find this on YouTube if you like. Oh, yeah, there's an exclusive ending if you get killed by that uh, UFO boss. <laughs> to save Gamera. Oh, and again, there's there's English and Japanese dubs for every single cutscene in this game. We'll just see the English one of these. Wait, is this the ending we got? Maybe it was. Yeah, I think. Well, let's enjoy it again for the first time. <laughs> you get the girl out of the goop. Lisa, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Huh? Gamera! Yeah, why would you ever want the Japanese dub? It's perfect as is. Oh, maybe they'll kiss in the best ending. Maybe they'll kiss Gamera. I, I was hoping so. Get to see the big spin again. They're gonna get Sam now. <laughs> is that all you know about turtles? Yes. I know they eat lettuce. Well, same about armadillos. What hey, do you guys? think about that? What about the UFO? Oh, you're thinking leprosy. Oh, yeah. Later, Harry. Later. Alright, what about the UFO? There's aliens. They're probably going to come back and kill us all. It's Later. Time for vacation. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, don't kiss a turtle. Not a good idea. Here's the supposedly normal ending. Even this video doesn't know for sure. Normal. Report over. We're coming back to headquarters. How you doing back there, Lisa? Just fine, Jack. Camera ate you for that. That's fair. I deserve it. <laughs> How dare you say he was insensitive.
effects, like uh. face acting. I mean, how would you act if you were in an alien womb? You'd blink. I, I would probably not be in that situation in the first place, I tell myself. <laughs> I just wouldn't be in an alien womb to begin with. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I take responsibility for my actions. Not get caught in the womb in the first place. I hope he winks in this one. He seems better shaped than this. I think perhaps Gamera has come to seal away his DNA forever. But I know he came from more than that. Explain. Oh, the city's fine. Goodbye. Nobody was hurt, miraculously. All operations complete. Dr. Mukinoki and I are on our way back to headquarters. You and I are a great team, don't you think? Yes. Yes, we are. Alex, you and I are a great team, don't you think? Yes. Yes, we are. I am not saying this under duress. I got bored by the plane this time. All right. And there's the, the Japanese endings if you want. We can cut this off here. Okay, so. Camera 2000. A PlayStation game that you should play. It's very good. It's highly recommended. Go play it. Go we play love it. you, Gamera. Hard cut for the portion that won't be on the YouTube archive of this stream. Uh, we have some bonus content for you tonight. Uh, according to a friend of the show, Trough of Luxury, who tried to do some research beforehand to figure out how the, the endings worked, they were not successful. It's very difficult to find this information, but... They found out all the, the discussion around this game currently involves the, the mysterious strategy guide, which everyone's searching for, and the fact that the game stars a certain, um, a certain personality known outside the game. Uh, notably, this person was put in the game, and everyone thinks it's really weird that they redubbed his voice because he has a distinctive voice to begin with. He's been in other things, though, uh, including this. Alex, why don't we watch this? All right. Remember Jack? His real name is Patrick Harlan, and he's part of a Manzai duo. Yes! So you can imagine just loading up your new game, Gamera 2000, and then that guy is the protagonist. That guy who has a double-dubbed-over English voice for some reason. Just an extremely strange thing to show up in your, in your game about Gamera. But uh, that makes the game just all the better, in my opinion. So, uh, we got some extra time. Uh, why don't we check out how the other half lives? The other half being, of course, Godzilla. Oh yeah, that guy. How Godzilla. He had a game on the PS1. Gamera 2000 was pretty good. Uh, Godzilla is, is Godzilla. It's got to be even better, right? Let's play it. Godzilla, Godzilla, Godzilla. He's using superlative forms. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> no, I was good shit. This is Godzilla. Uh... Wait, don't okay, say I what can't, it... I can't say what it is. Don't Sorry. say what it is. It's just Godzilla. Allowed. As far as anyone knows, this is Godzilla from Toho. Oh, I love that game. Mm-hmm. 1954. A monster was born. Hey, sports fan. Welcome back to 1954. 1998. It has returned to the game. He's back. He's in the game again. Oh, he looks good. Right? King Ghidra? Mm -hmm. oh, I like this game. The Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Destroyer. Cool. Yeah. All your favorite dudes. Is that an upgraded Mothra? Yes. That's just, that's just Mothra again. Mm -hmm. How many of these are Mothra? He just 
just have a bunch of Mothras hanging around. You know, we gotta use them somehow. Get surplus Mothra. We gotta clear out this Mothra. It's Mothra month at your local Chevy Godzilla. dealer. Godzilla. Don't worry about the subtitle. It probably just says, uh, like, American Badass or something. That's probably what it says. Godzilla, American Badass? <laughs> we can't appropriate Godzilla from Japan. I refuse. It was born in Hollywood. But it was born in Hollywood. Okay, fair. Wait. Wait. Danny, no. It's based on the best Godzilla movie. Oh yeah, he's loud. Godzilla. Yeah. You psyched? You ready to do no. this? Let's play some God freaking Zilla. Bandy on. I my man. You could. Ah, indeed. Deck! No. What? This isn't what I think it is, is it? What do you think it is? Am I allowed to? Can I say it? I feel I. I fear let's uh. Let's let everyone come to the come to the same conclusion. <laughs> it's a Godzilla game for PS One. It can't be bad. It's Godzilla. He's got God right there in the name. This is what I think it is. I'm about to fucking rage quit this stream. <laughs> That's us. That's uh no, that's us. We're the angry looking guy. We're the angry Godzilla nerd. Oh, they're adorable! This is Baby. His name is Baby. Is that Matthew Broderick? Uh yeah, sure. Ooh, what are we gonna do? This one. See, it's a choice driven narrative. The things you say have an effect on the future in the world of Godzilla. Mom? Yeah, probably. This one. Yeah, is this a, a virtual, a visual novel, I mean? It's looking like one. There's a whole lot of text, right? But you named it dead. Stage one. All right, it's time to kick some ass. This is America. It is. Oh, wow, I'm hyped. <laughs> the first thing I say is, hey, hey, Coco God, New York. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> this guy called Dr. S. That's a cool name. Yeah, Dr. S. Still have yet to see neither hide nor hair of... Oh, is that him? Sonna. Sonna. What? Uh, well... Typical New Yorker here. Yeah. Hey, I'm wearing a gold numbing over here. I'm gonna go pet me a bodega cat. Oh! Ready to fight? Yes. Ready to fight this guy? All right. So Godzilla's going to come out and punch mm -hmm. and kick. Yeah, there's and... going to be a lot of exploding buildings, a lot of rubble, mm -hmm. just a whole lot of monster mauling. You, you know what I mean? Hey. Yeah? My nightmare is coming true. Is this a card battle game based on Godzilla 1998? Yes, Alex. No, that doesn't exist. Fuck off. No. That's like telling me there's a water world trading card game. It's not just a trading card game, it's specifically Yu-Gi-Oh styled. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's time to, to give up the sham. The full title of this game is Godzilla Trading Card Battle. 
Cool, it's Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Oh, how come he gets Godzilla? How come he gets two Godzillas? Well, he's also got New York, so they get as many Godzillas as they have. And he's got a Destroya. That's okay, we got, um... We got one of those guys in a volcano. Ha! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, that was Minida. Did you see that? We gotta, we gotta find a place yeah, for Minira. Yeah, we gotta get that guy out. Okay, Minira can be placed on the ocean. See, the thing is, you have to make a setting for these creatures and then, like, put them down on the board. You gotta give them a place to live, first of all. So now we can put down, uh... <laughs> Aww. I don't want- that guy's gonna get absolutely roasted by American Godzilla. I'm sorry. You know it. You know I've never seen American Godzilla? I haven't either. Is that buried in, in, in like, history? Play your cards, Dr. Hell. I think that's his name. Oh, he's biting his tongue. This is all leading up to something. They're gonna... I'm sorry, but they're gonna die. Yeah, it's looking really bad for me. Netflix. Could watch it. We could. We have Oh, it looks like we're being targeted. For our or, opinions? Yeah. <laughs> For Godzilla opinions. So they've told all their units to head toward yes. the, the settings on our side, and it's up to us to defend it using the creatures we've summoned. Um. I'm so sorry, but I think that little guy is going to get smoked. Like, really smoked. Let's find out. Minia's dead. I think this could go pretty well. Cool looking, though. I like the animations here. It's just a big walrus. Hey, who is this? Walrus on? Well, that's Radon. Okay. Should we do a special attack? Yes. Uh, the mock special. Let's do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looking pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. He's flying. He's gonna fly right into that fucker's face. <laughs> Godzilla 98 has... Has Jamiroquai on the soundtrack? I'm in. Now you're interested? Yes. Oh no, he's doing something. Ow! Ooh. You punched my guy. You got your ass kicked. He leveled down twice? What the fuck? Um... Oh no. Oh, Minita. He's just a baby! Is this a Godzuki? I, I, I don't know if it's the same. Yeah, go baby. Oh, Special attack. Him. Oh, oh, let's, let's blow some smoke rings at him. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> this is going to go really well. Hey, smoke on this. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't I don't think he liked that. Yeah, you lost energy. You lost health from when you blew the smoke ring. Oh no, you can't hurt a baby. Oh, this Get is wrong. Get out of here. This is so wrong. Oh no. <laughs> baby is going to die. Oh, I couldn't even use any attacks because my attack phase already ended. I, I'm just gonna get pummeled by my dad. Yeah. 
<laughs> Great animation. <laughs> No, you crunched your only begotten son! Oh, he's a dead child. That's the end of Minida. Godzilla, Godzilla's level went up twice from killing Godzilla his own son. Godzilla crunched and munched on his child. Like Godzilla some kind of Greek mythology shit. Devouring his... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> together, together we put together uh, like 75% of a joke. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't think this is going to end well for us. So why don't we move on to our next game, Godzilla Trading Card Battle? I gotta say, I prefer. <laughs> I prefer Camera 2000 by like in every possible way. You win this one. You win this one, Camera. Well, how about we go towards a um, something that's close to or affiliated with the kaiju genre, something like say uh, a Tokusatsu show. Okay. Something of that vein. Uh, I don't really like the existing ones, though, so why don't we play a game that's based on a fake one? This is 70s robot anime, Gepi X. I was wrong, this isn't Tokusatsu, it's robot anime, it's right oh, there in the title. Okay. I ain't seen no Gundam, but I have seen a little bit of Gepi X. And I will say I'm a fan. One headlight by the Wallflowers is on the Godzilla OST! It's okay, so... <laughs> I know what I'm doing when I'm curling up under a thousand blankets tomorrow. It's got Chimiroquai, it's got the wallflowers. What's that one song on the Cable Guy soundtrack? Uh, standing outside a broken phone booth with money in my hand. It's probably, yes. got, it's yes. probably got that song in it. <laughs> Bringing back all the classics. So, you know robot anime exists. Aroma? Right. There's you so there's there's so so many of them that the genre is ripe for parody, especially here on the PS1. This is a four disc game consisting of multiple fake episodes of a fake anime. See if, we'll see if this is better than Godzilla trading card battle. I already like it more. I want to watch this show. Yeah, I want to watch the show so bad. And buy all the toys. Play the video games. Wait, I guess I am. Well, we've got fake anime in the fake anime. What comes after three, two, one? PX apparently. kinds of games here on the PS1. Most of them we didn't get to see. This is explaining the whole the whole thing behind it. Oh, uh, okay. You can read that, right? Yeah, sure. The super boosted armor, 70s robot anime Gepi X. Aroma! I'm sorry. I don't like that name. Yeah, it's the, it's the production company. You know, Aroma. I guess so. Aroma. All right, we're putting on the anime DVD. We're hitting play all episodes from the main menu. We're Are you gonna... sure it's an anime DVD and not a VCD we got at the flea market? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's a VCD and we're playing it on the fucking Dreamcast. I'm not made of money, all right? <laughs> I can't afford a PlayStation 2. You know how much those things are? Jeez.
Wake up, your favorite show's on. Skeppy time. I hate to say this, but this is too well animated for a 70s anime. Yeah, well. Like, I'm not trying to be a dickhead, but it's, it's really taken the verisimilitude out of me. But also it kicks ass. It does kick a lot of ass, is the thing. Yeah, even the designs feel more 80s, but I shouldn't nitpick a literal video game. <laughs> Well, criticize all you want, it's fake. Okay. Yeah, where's all the big hair? Uh, I guess that's okay. Yeah, alright, there we go. Did you ever wish you could play your favorite anime? Yes. Well, I've got news for you. If your favorite anime is Gepi X, that's, that's the good news. I only like fake anime, so fair. Now that's limited animation I'm talking about. There we go. You know what I want? Hmm. This game, only it's parodying Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Yes! I want to see this, but with the Flintstones. Fred Flintstone climbs into a giant mech. Listen, is there... Someone's had to have done a Fred Flintstone Gundam thing, right? Like... You would think. Okay. Let's go! It's leaving money on the table. If I have Fred Flintstone anime, will I be cursed? We're transforming. Oh shit, this looks cool. We've done it. We've transformed. So this is like a robot fighting game, or...? Now we begin the episode. It's, um, well, you'll see. It's a video game. It's not a card I'm... battling game. I mean, we usually play video games on the stream. Well, sometimes we watch Japanese comedy bits. Hey. <laughs> I look up... <laughs> Sorry. I look up Fred Flintstone anime, and the first result I get is, why did Fred Fr Flintstone get canceled? What happened? What did I miss? Fred Flintstone got canceled? I guess he did, according to Google. Well, this game... This is cool. ...is this. So it's like a shooter? Yeah, it's a side-scrolling shoot-em-up with okay. pre-rendered graphics. A la Soul Divide and uh, probably other games. You have two different attacks. You have power-ups. There's a vocal song. I do like the, the vocal song. It seems like they're trying to specifically parody Go Nagai uh, style uh, mecha anime. Ooh, yeah, could be. Especially with some of those cutscenes and the kind of rougher line work earlier in the anime. Team. At least that's what I'm seeing. It's up for interpretation. Fred Flintstone just doing a comedy special on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you joke about anything these days, Barn. What do we have here? It's camera! Yeah, he's back! 
Wait a minute, you're not camera. What's this poser? It's one of those fake cameras. He looks like an armadillo. Don't kill him. Oh, Roku and Robo is here to help. Farewell, Roku Juyan Robo. I kind of like this game. <laughs> it's very simple, it's very straightforward. It's kind of silly as hell, and I like that. I like games that are silly as hell. Maybe it's just all the vocal tracks that do it for me. You put in enough vocal tracks, you're gonna get a good score from me. Um, let me just say, there's a lot of DeviantArt interpretations of that phrase. <laughs> the thing I like most about this game is that it's structured just like an anime. Like, every episode takes exactly 22 minutes, I think. Give or take a little bit for how long you take during these sequences. Mostly I like the idea of a game that you can play for a little bit and then put down and feel good about it. Or games should be more considerate like that. Maybe I want to take a nap. Have you ever considered that, video games? Yeah, what if I don't want to play 15 hours in a row? What if I want to spend time with my family? Family. What if I want to, you know, enjoy other forms of entertainment in my life? Oh, yeah, yeah, Sakura Wars did that, too. It's a stylistic thing. Time for the X-Blade! In half? Cut that fucker right in twain. In twain! In twain, indeed. Look what that guy did to the Tokyo Tower. Oh man, he cracked it! Oh! He broke its back, that's so unfair. And now for our commercial break. These fake Gepi X toys? Yep. Yeah, it works just like that. This is great. I love this. Danny, this rocks. This mm -hmm. is great. I, yes. Later on, there's commercials for, like, shampoo and shit. <laughs> kind of tempted to play all the way through this one. I mean, I enjoy it. I want to see what's at the rest of the game. I believe Dino played through this a uh, long time ago. Sorry, I'm entrained by this game. I am, too. There's just so many vocal tracks, it's not just the title screen. Oh, right! You can also be other people. They're not as good as Gepi. This one has just like, look at this. Like, who cares? <laughs> the third character looks like this. More of a melee guy. Well, but there's the rocket punch. As seen on TV. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just be Gappy. Sorry, this guy's cool. Mm -hmm. It's like a little evil tomato with arms. Kinda. Dino's playthrough was last year. Okay, maybe it's been long enough. I don't want to repeat content seen on the, the retro community here on Twitch. Tr 
dry rush get PX. <laughs> now that's a crossover we can all get behind. And in case you can't tell, the reason this game is on four discs is because it's it's approximately 70% <laughs> pre-rendered cutscenes, this game, in case you haven't noticed. The presentation is such that you're going to be playing this less than watching it, and that's fine. Fuck playing games. See? Now you get me. You're, you're in the Alex lifestyle now. Let's see what the other dude says Super looks like. That looks okay. Can I just, can I just like, punch? Seems to work. Taking a ton of damage, though. Something most games don't understand is that you just get way more pumped up to play when you have a vocal track going on in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the power of the human voice. That's, I think, I think, that's like the main thesis of Macross, is like vocal themes powering up super soldiers and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's just science. You did it. He's done. Time for the shining bird! Give him the shining bird! Oh, I love it when he gives him the shining bird. Fucking owned. <laughs> then there's these guys. That guy's just a Gundam. I know that. You okay? To be continued. Yeah. And that is episode one of Get PX. We gotta watch the credits, too. Oh my god, this moody robot! Yes! 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 Oh my god! The dog is perfect! <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind! Oh, he's at the sunset and everything! Mm, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm really glad they made this game. This must have taken a ton of money to develop, but... Whoever's idea this was, it was executed pretty darn well. <laughs> it's just the 70s Devil Man ending. <laughs> Lyrics at the bottom, sing along. I am delighted. Yeah. Aroma, you made a good smelling game. <laughs> it smells that? delightful. That makes sense, Devil Ray, that there would be nostalgia for that kind of thing. So I guess that's why this exists. Of course, it's all thanks to Aroma. Mm -hmm. The delightful aroma of anime. Oh, the comedy bit, you can look up Makun Pakun, I think it was called, right? Mm -hmm. It'll be the first result. I heard toilet paper. There's a there's a lurking evil and also a toilet paper crisis. How will Gepi X get through this? Tune in next time uh, whenever we next play this, which might actually be pretty soon. Go, Go or no. no? No. We choose no. Gepi X. 
I want to play more of this. Maybe it'll be like a, a Gamera 2000 situation where we play it and I spend a couple years thinking, you know, that was pretty good. Maybe we should play it again. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing more of this in 2025 or so. Yeah, just that's, give us some time. That's how we work. All right, Alex, we got one more game to play. What if there was a mecha show that wasn't fake and it was on the PlayStation? <laughs> No way. No, no way. What if there was a PlayStation game based on Sento Mecha Zabungle? Zabungle! Let's play it. It's really Scrungles my Zabungle. Get ready to get your Scrungles Zabungled, everybody. Oh, is this really a simple... This is this is the very last simple 2000 series game made for the PS1. They closed it out with Zabungle. Zabungle! You get your ass in here. We're, we're watching Zabungle. I don't know what Zabungle is, but Alex sure does. Yes! Yes! Where are my Zabunglers at? Thank you, Bondi. Yeah, Zabungle has a game. I can't believe it. Zabungle by the by the guy who brought you uh, Gundams. <laughs> yep, a budget game based on <laughs> Zabungle. That's so good. It All happened. Right, turn it back down. So, if you were to guess what kind of game this is, um, what would you say? I'm sorry. All I can think of is it's a bungle game. It's a... like it's a bungling. Well, um, well, tonight we've seen Panzer Dragoon style game. Mm -hmm. We saw a card battler. We saw uh, like a game about a fake robot anime. And now we're going to get to see what they do with the bungle. Yep, that's how it's spelled. Oh, it's got a really expensive Blu-ray, apparently. Hmm, no thank you. Discotech, do us a bungle. I can't wait for you to see this. Nothing can prepare you for what this game actually is. I, I Is it a sliding puzzle game? Well, I first discovered this game based on uh, the YouTube channel Soft Space Laboratory. They oh, do these. Oh, no! Uh, they do compilations of all the most famous Kusoge on PS1 and Saturn. And this was included on their list. 3D chess would be pretty cool. Or a Puyo Puyo clone. Love so okay. Who okay. we gonna be? We're gonna be Zabungle one, Zabungle two. So they have acceleration, speed, jump, and hover, which makes me think that yeah, that it's a platformer. Interesting a thought. One. That's an interesting thought. Wait, checkered flag. Uh huh. Acceleration. Yep. The game is called the Race in Action. Yeah. Is this a Dino Run like? Yes, actually. It's a racing game where you're racing against all the other robots in the Zabungle franchise. But it's 2D! It's a 2D racing game! It's one of these! Yeah. It's like... It's one there's of these. There's so few of these! There's literally so few of these games! Detach the caboose! We did it. This is like... This is a Flash game! Oh yeah, now we're a robot. Now y'all about to get fucked. Because I got a gun. You gotta stop the reload. Can't comparing this to Popeye SNES. You know? Kinda? Can't really think of many racing games that are quite like this one. And man, when you get shot, you just fall right on over. I think there's a punch? Yeah, you can punch dudes too. Let's go. Come here, you. Punch you. Oh, I fell over. Now, why would this be in a list of Kusoge? Is my question. Um, I like just shooting little dudes. I know, they're little babies. Oh, I missed. Bam! Got him right in the back of the head. And when you get to the end, you gotta turn back. 
it's like so a, it's just a straight. It's like a relay race. Oh my god! And I love that there's this no. Is so dumb. And I love that it puts all the different characters against each other, even the tiny ones. I punch the fucking airplane. It's pissing me off. I'm in first place. I can do it. I can be the Zabungle. You're bungling, baby. I won't be crunkled today. I'll be Zabungling. Getting it, you're getting it. Every day I'm Zabungling. Mr. Zabungle. In testing, I was just completely annihilated. Everyone constantly shot me in the ass. Fucking rubber band. Yeah, totally. Come on. Come on. You're doing it. We're almost there. So bungle it. Corungle it. We're just out here. Corungle it. We're out here in the desert. No, no you little fuck. You son of a. You little shitbag. God damn it! Oh, 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 oh. Second place. Second place. I got so pissed! Betrayed by the little fucker. You got. Mm. 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 Danny, I don't know about Zabungle. I don't. I don't. I don't know either. This game that they've made, I'm not sure they thought it through all the way. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. So considering these, uh. Simple 1500, simple 2000 games are very low budget. How much of the budget went towards the license, do you think? I mean, the bungle is pretty, like, Z tier, but. True. But, um... Oh, we can be a little guy now. Aww, baby. Let's do that. Let's be a baby robot. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. I don't know. I think if you put your heart into it. Okay, when you put it that way. Off I go. Run across little field. You've got the cutest little run. Come back, guys. Mom says you can't leave me behind. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go with you to the arcade. Mom says so. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to be a little girl. Oh, baby. That's my punch. Oh, it, it worked! I punched the bungle in the butt! <laughs> you kicked the bungle's ass! And then you got tripped. Come back. I'll machine gun you. I'd like to see other licenses applied to this style of gameplay. Really, you can just put anyone into this. You just make all your characters race. Yeah. <laughs> Punching the bungle. Now this is pod racing. This is pod racing. <laughs> so what have we learned today on today's show? Uh, we learned that Gamera 2000 was excellent. We learned how to get the best ending without really learning how. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure there's something in there that could help you figure out how to get the best ending. <laughs> some, some scientists should uh, analyze every frame of this, this stream to figure out how to get the actual ending in Gamera. Also saw Godzilla who, it must be said, did not live up to the camera's expectations that he set for us. Just a freaking card game. But at least you got to be Godzuki. That's turn fun. back. Gotta turn around. See, that's how you lengthen gameplay. You make him go one way, and then you make him go back. <laughs> did they do a lot of this in the, in the cartoon? No! It was just like... The cartoon is just... Anime. They're not doing. They're not doing fun wet like potato sack races or whatever. This is a potato sack race. It is. This is some field day shit. It's field day here at the Bungle Academy. <laughs> yeah, I do think today's games were pretty good. Even the Godzilla one was at least kind of interesting, in that it turned Godzilla into Yu-Gi-Oh, which I just find kind of funny. It's like you're doing the mile mile run for. Uh, for class and you're just like walking behind. Oh, I can't. I just can't, guys. I'm not built for this. I was designed to move crates or something. Mm -hmm. so, oh, oh, oh. Yes, it's a real Sokoban looking guy. I don't care, you. You little fuckers. 
wasn't so tiny. <laughs> we can call that a moral victory. Jordan, Exo Squad got recommended to me on some streaming platform as a hidden adult animation gem. Whoa. I don't believe it. I don't believe it's a, a, a hidden adult animation gem. It's hidden, all right. Punch him in the butt. God damn. Did it. Fourth freaking place. I'm an embarrassment to all the Zabungles out there. Hmm. Well, if you like what you've seen, there's a whole lot of this. I don't think anyone's played more than five minutes of this game. If you look this game up on YouTube, there's seriously like 20 videos that are all like six or seven minutes each. <laughs> they all reach level two and they're all like, you know what? That's enough of this. <laughs> we've, we've, we've seen enough of this game. But as for us, we've seen the anime robots. We've seen our favorite kaiju. And now the stream has ended. Go thank, in peace. thank you, Gamera. Thank you. They had to end it with the classic. Of yeah, course we sorry. did. <laughs> thank you for watching the Retro Pals Wednesday Showcase stream. Alex is here to talk about all the different places you can find us on the internet while I look for a raid target. We, uh, if you'd like to support us directly, we are on Patreon. Patreon.com slash RetroPals. You pitch in $5 a month, you get to vote on what we play every Wednesday. This week, you voted to see Gamera 2000, and what a wonderful pick that was. Thank you all so much to everyone who supported us and who voted. Thank you. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is a full-length look at uh, Tiger LCD handhelds. We have like a lot of license jank in that one, including the Altered Beast LCD game, the Home Alone game 1 and 2. It's really wild, and there's some really, really bad stuff and interesting stuff there, too. So uh, take a look if you're interested in the mechanics of LCD games. Yeah, take a look, y'all. Take a look. Let's see, who are we going with? We got we got a bunch of people on. A bunch of people playing video games of all things? No. What the heck? Okay, I'm going to go with friend of the show, Lady Linalia, who has teamed up with... Wow, it looks like Dark Witch Claire. They are streaming... Oh. Uh, Gunstar Heroes co-op. That's always a good time. So enjoy that. Have a good rest of your evening. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks. <laughs>